I'm Aiden Davis. I'm Garen Rosebro, and welcome back to episode one of Tribal, Tribal Studios. Studios. Today's hot topic, Cooper Tutton explores the new cell phone policy. Aiden Davis and Aiden Bryant take a look at the newest addition to Willard High School. The cell phone policy at Willard High School has changed from last year. So originally we put the wall hangers, like the, the pockets for cell phones, as a way for teachers to utilize as a resource because some of them didn't have a safe area for students to put their cell phones when they went to the bathroom. Um, we've also had issues with occasional theft, somebody stealing the phone out of someone's side pocket or their bag. And then of course, misuse of cell phones with students using them in class when they shouldn't be. Um, and so we were trying to provide a resource to the teachers for, to use for the cell phones originally um, when we were playing our back to school preparations. I mean, you know, we want to make sure that we are meeting our students where they're at. Um, because if you go out into the world, um, you know, if I go and, and I'm speaking to, let's say, another adult in any kind of business setting, I'm not going to be on my phone. Uh, well, I mean, for instance, right now, my phone is face down uh, over here, um, and I don't have it out right now. But if I was into a closed setting where I'm not with somebody else, then I may be on my phone checking something, something of that nature. That's no different for a student. And we can use our role uh, as a school to help educate our students how to properly use them now. Um, and so meeting them where they're at is allowing them in the hallways. Um, I think that's big, that you can check in with mom or dad. Um, in between classes, you can take a, uh, you know, send a quick text, check your social media if you need to. That way, you don't have that itch to do so as, as badly during class time. Um, last year at the middle school, there was like no cell phones like anywhere, ever hallways, classrooms, lunches. No teacher really allowed it, even for work. So it's different here, like having it out in the halls and stuff. Um, they've gone very well for those that are able to use them, like our, our art department, which just makes sense, kind of industrial arts as well in the shop with Mr. Atkinson. Um, that is when we're looking to help him figure out something that works best in his because of the safety concerns of students being on their phone while running machinery, those things. So certain classes like that, it's gone very, very well. I do think it's hard to keep up with the hangers because some people, like some teachers will want you to have them in there and then some are like less strict about it and having it like in your bag. You know we're going to look at the hallway situation. I honestly think that's going pretty well. Uh, I don't see people stopping and doing TikTok dances in the hallway or anything along those lines. So I, I feel like we're doing pretty good in the hallways. We've gotten some good positive feedback from both students and teachers. Um, you know, students have appreciated that they're able to you know check it in the hallway without repercussion. Um, and I did hear from one student that you know, he's not as tempted to check his phone during class because he knows he can check it as soon as class is over. Uh, and then obviously the teachers have appreciated it because there's not that uh, distraction that's always just sitting, you know, mere inches away from a student. So we've gotten a lot of positive feedback so far. We'll continue to use time um, as our feedback and kind of see how it continues to go as the school year goes. I'm Cooper Tutton and this is Tribal Studios. As returning students know, there has been multiple delays and challenges with constructing the new multi-purpose facility. So the new facility was part of a bond project. Uh, there were several across the district and part of ours was to uh, be able to utilize a safe shelter, so a storm shelter for our students, faculty, staff, and community. Yeah, we're really excited about the new facility um, opening up. It's going to provide uh, space that we really need. As returning students know, there were a few scheduling conflicts during the building process. Uh, the planning aspect of it took about uh, a year and a half, and then as plans go, uh, items changed uh, as, we, as they went along within the bond project. That actually started when I, before I came back to Willard, um, and then as you build, uh, supply and demand can change what, what products are available, what we could use, um, so that did affect some of the planning as it went along. But. Yeah, so I think any time that you're, you're doing building projects, obviously there's going to be some, some things that you've, you've got to adjust to, and I think last year we did a really good job of that. Students at Willard are eagerly anticipating the new building, especially the wrestling team. Uh, I feel really, really good about the facility. Um, I'm actually really ex excited for it because, um, you know, this the original wrestling room it was supposed to be a janitor's closet, and so now that we, uh, you know, we have a room, we have a whole gym, matter of fact, um, to do kind of like what we need to do, and I think that it will benefit the team a lot. I'm Aiden Davis, and I'm Aiden Bryant, and this has been Tribal, Tribal Studios. Studios. Next up, Garen Rosebro and Aiden Helms go over the new AMI policy from the state. 
Then Emma Snyder and Will Swanson talk to the newest coach in town. With winter months just around the corner, it means the Willard District is already preparing for snow days. The state has issued a new policy regarding AMI days. Let's see what students and teachers have to say about the new policy. The new snow day policy now is designated by the state to be consistent, which is good, but the AMI usage has to be implemented first. So if you are going to not have seated classes, you will use your five AMI days first. Then you can use snow days. Obviously, if the weather um, is going to prohibit school, those snow days then get made up. I think that the state understands that there can be some things that are done online to progress classes. I think their limitations to it are because they also know that it has to be a balance and not everything can be done online and there's a lot of barriers to AMI with connection, um, student access to whatever is being provided in that alternate method of instruction. So personally, I think the balance is fine. Hopefully the weather permits and we can just come seated. That's my favorite way to have school. No. <laughs> they should revise it. There should be new um, policies. It shouldn't, it's not going to really work this year. <laughs> Most students need a teacher to like explain what's happening, but if they just read it out in Canvas, then they might be confused. They could email this teacher, but most of the time, like it won't happen until like a later time in the day that they'll answer. We're not in the classroom setting, so it's harder. Uh, I don't like them. I think we should just have snow days. I don't believe that AMI days are as effective. Sometimes people might have bad internet ac access or they're somewhere that they just can't have their schoolwork. I'm Garen Rosebro. And I'm Aiden Helms. And this is Tribal, Tribal Studios. Studios. With the resignation of Coach Tristan, Willard has already found a new football coach, McFarland, and he has made quite the impact on the team. Mr. Farlin has already gained the love of his high school students on his football team. I like him a lot. I think he's going to be really good for us this year and in the future. I think this year's Willard team has something special going on. With the new coach, his mentality, his mindset, he's brought in a more winning factor. I think we're going to be really good this year. Um, we have a lot of very talented offensive and defensive linemen, and, and those guys have worked really well together so far. Um, th there's still improvement to be made in, in every position group, but uh, those guys have definitely been a strength of our team. It's been good. Uh, it's been really, really busy. The, the beginning of every football season is, um, but it, it's been a good start to the year. Okay, so he makes things very simple and almost dumbifies it for me. How do you um, it, it starts with organization and, um, and you know, learning how to practice, learning how to prepare, and, and sometimes that takes a little bit of time to create new expectations and, and um, follow through with those expectations, but that's the process that we're working on right now. I think we are in excellent hands. I think we're, I think we're going to be, he's made us better men, they've made us better football players. Uh, I'm excited to be here and I'm excited about being a part of their school and, and uh, hope they feel the same way. Um, I, think, I think with what I do in, in the weight room and, and coaching as well, um, the, the, the ground floor of everything that you want to accomplish starts with a growth mindset. And, uh, you know, I hope to be a positive influence on that for, for not only the kids that I have on the football team, but for everybody that I have in weights. And um, if you have a large group of people that, that really care about improving every single day, you can do a lot of special things. My name is Emma Snyder. And I'm Will Swanson. And this is Tribal, Tribal Studios. Studios. I'm Aiden Davis. I'm Garen Rosebro. And thank you for tuning in to Tribal, Tribal Studios. Studios.